Do you find any irony in the fact that the person that you're, like the American that's going to try Vegemite doesn't have a sense of taste or smell? <laughs> Alright, so I'm with Dan here today. Haley's here as well, but I don't think she wants to try the Vegemite. But we've loaded up a piece of bread in the toast oven. I've never used this, so I don't know how to do it. Okay. Haley! <laughs> Haley! Oh, 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 there you go. Got it. Got it. It's like light, medium, and... Oh, um, actually, I've never used your toaster oven. Yeah, I don't even know which one to go to. We're gonna get Dude. a... Yeah. We're gonna we get, get a warm. Warm. Thing. We'll go to two, 250. Yeah, it doesn't have to be super, like, burnt, but... I, do, do you find any irony in the fact that the person that you're, like the American that's going to try Vegemite doesn't have a sense of taste or smell? <laughs> you might like it. <laughs> yeah, because I, I have a very like crappy sense of taste or smell. I got, you know, the virus and it yeah. ruined it for, for me. Or, or it could make it come back. <laughs> It'll just shock it back Yeah, into. it could. It could make it so come back. So it's just yeast, right? It it's, 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 let's see what it says. It's, yeah, there's a bunch of It says yeast stuff. extract in very big letters. So that's like the... Click baby title and then ingredients yeast extract from yeast grown on barley and wheat, salt malt extract from barley, flavor enhancers from some big words that I can't read, spice extract that's so vague. Spice, I think there's some molasses in it. Contains celery, too. dude. This is gonna be so gross. I'm gonna hate this you just so you know. I'm gonna like puke. <laughs> you could like it, man. Like, it's you have to have it on toast. To, Do you to like it? it? I love it. I'm gonna have some today <laughs> with you. <laughs> Maybe here with you. Um, oh, and this is like a this is like a big thing. And I know that it's like an Australian yeah. thing, but how common is it really in Australia? Like, I don't do you know. guys really go in on this? Because I think yeah, it's like Vegemite and toast is like standard breakfast. Bre oh, this is a breakfast. Yeah, it's thing. a breakfast. Yeah, I, I I have it when I want a snack. I'm like I want to have a snack, and it's healthy. It's got a lot of vitamins and nutrients in it, so it's not like you're just chucking on like PB and J. My mouth is already like watering in that I'm about to vomit way. You know what I'm talking about? Like when you like feel yeah, nauseous. Yeah, it's, it's nothing like that. It's like, it's, I don't I know. It's nothing like water. It's like an acquired vomit. taste, but you might, you might be into it. I don't know. I mean, we'll see. Let, we'll we'll see. see. Smell it. I'm like, I can't, I don't. Oh, there's no, yeah. That's amazing. Anything? It's so dark. <laughs> it's so thick and dark. Like, look at that. Yeah, you're staring into the abyss. It literally looks like, yeah, like burnt Nutella. You guys have Nutella up here? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, Nutella. We we like. Is that a your thing? No, I is think Nutella is from up here. Is it? Or I uh, think it's like a maybe a British thing or something. Yeah, possibly. They love those hazelnuts over there. Yeah. Yeah. See, look, we've added vitamins B one, B two, B three, and folic acid. That's the get the health nuts in on it. I'm yep. like not super excited. I've been feeling like not great today too. This could pick you up a bit. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it's going to be the opposite. <laughs> Haley, what do you think is going to happen? Do you have any predictions? Uh, do I think you're going to be a big baby about it? Yeah. Do you think I'm going to be a big baby about it? I think you'll be fine with it. Yeah. I already feel nauseous. Okay. But you see the chill out. Have you ate today at all? I did, and it made me feel nauseous. Oh, okay. I've been having a lot of trouble, like, eating and... Uh, well, I feel like when I can't skate and I can't be active, because I... Your body kind of, like... Just goes nuts. Yeah, like, it, I, I pull I, light I, on. I, do, I have no appetite. Yeah, okay, okay. It's just like, you know... Yeah, yeah I don't know. It's, it, it definitely, like, messes with me. But uh, I don't know if, like, I'm actually just, like, not feeling well in general, or I also, like, messed up taking my medicine that I take every day. So, uh, it could be a lot of things. Usually, I've been... Up, usually, you don't eat much, though, I'm pretty sure. When we go out skating, you're, like... Nibbling on something and that's yeah, it. Yeah, I'm a snacker. I'm yeah, a snacker. I need to eat a lot. Do you? Yeah, to skate. That's why you're, you're so tall. <laughs> and but I don't know why I'm tall. Because of the Vegemite. It makes you grow tall. I, well, then I shouldn't drink or eat any because I'm this tall. <laughs> I, wonder if, I, I wonder if anyone's done a Vegemite milkshake. Oh my god. Why would, would you, you imagine that? that? I was yeah. thinking about that driving here today. I was like, I wonder if anyone's tried a Vegemite milkshake. I would be down to try it. You would be down to try it? Yeah, man. A little bit of Vegemite, some oat milk or almond milk. It's just like straight, it's super salty, right? It's salty, yeah. You only, you put it on lightly. You don't like pack it on like Nutella. I mean, you think you put it on lightly. Wait to see how thin this <laughs> Yeah, you gotta put at least, you know. What, what is this? Like a, like a, a few. You I'll know. make that, I'll make that sound with just the knife and no Vegemite on it. I'll do that. Um, oh. Yeah, I don't know. Like I'm, I'm not a huge, uh, it's like super salty, right? Yeah, but 
That's all I know. About. I like salt. I don't know. If you I like salt too. I yeah. have heard stories of people who've tried this. Yeah. Uh, they said that they weren't a big fan. They but weren't. Okay. An acquired taste. So when you say acquired taste, does that mean that when you first tried it, you were like, eh? When I was a kid, I was like, oh, I don't want it. And then I had it on, I slept over at my friend's place one day. So I had a sleepover and it was awkward. I didn't want to be like, oh, I don't want to eat your breakfast that you made for me. I was like, all right, I'll eat it. And it was Vegemite on toast. And I was yeah. like, this isn't that bad. Nice. So I was like, this is sick. And then now, naturally. So maybe we should have had a sleepover. If Next you stayed over yeah. last night, or Slumber if I stayed over, yeah. maybe I would have had more of an appreciation for it. <laughs> I like how I'm already like, I hate it and I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> Yeah, it's crunchy. How do you like your toast usually? Like, I don't eat toast. Okay. So, just first I have to like be able to handle even eating toast. So Vegemite you know, yeah. might be the easiest part of the whole For ordeal. Sure. Have you ever watched someone not Australian eat Vegemite before? Only on YouTube, like the reaction videos. Like, How do we not have any butter knives? Um, there's a, actually a Vegemite song they used to sing. Like used to be an ad on TV. And it would be a Vegemite song. I'll have to link it in or put it in the video. And it's a Vegemite song? Yeah, from like back when TVs were black and white. We're happy little Vegemites, as bright as bright can be. We all enjoy our Vegemite for breakfast, lunch, and tea. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Like, I'm like... Yeah, yeah, you get like a nice spread on it. It's not like, yeah, like that. It's not like Nutella, but... That's how you do the, the spread. A little bit more. Oh, come on. <laughs> you know what? Someone at work the other day, they go, Are you from Boston? They thought my accent was from Boston. And I went, Oh. Were you like, I love beans? <laughs> I like, oh, no. And then her husband was like, No, that's Australia. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more. I like, I, first of all, I'm really not hungry. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you take a couple of bites and then, you know. <laughs> no, there's not, I'm telling you right now, this is going to be a one and done. Uh, um, you could like it. I, I, well, I feel like, you know, you picked like someone who, uh, not only is he nauseous right now, he's pretty much the biggest baby right. in the entire world. Can you smell it though? Everything smells like chemicals to me. Okay. It's hard to explain. It smells like, like almost like fabric softener. <laughs> like I got my chaser. <laughs> I got my chaser ready to go. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, let me, let me pre open this. You're good, you're good. Take yeah, your let's time. Let's take man. our time. Rush. Cola. That's right, generic style. I went, to Denny, I went to Denny's last night and I thought of you. Yeah? Yeah. What'd you get? Uh, just the same shit I got last time. <laughs> you want to coat the palate with something delicious first. <sighs> okay, here we go. <laughs> it's like your wine tasting. It it can you taste? It's like, like people say it's bitter. No, I can't taste any bitter. Okay, it tastes like um, it tastes like laundry detergent. <laughs> what? It's because I taste so, everything wrong. So uh, like, yeah, like when people smoke like weed around me, it smells like burnt chocolate. Ooh. Like it smells real crazy. Okay. And then when I have like um. When I have cherry cola instead of regular cola, it tastes like a, like, it doesn't taste anything like cherry cola. It tastes like, it tastes like Coca-Cola with a funny aftertaste. Okay. But it's like a very, I like, grew like a decent, like I enjoy that taste now. It's yeah. A it's a different, wow. It's very different. Yeah, everything's wrong. Everything's, yeah. yeah and wow. I can't smell really anything. I can't smell poop or pee at all. Really? At all, like zero mm. percent. Like I could be in the gnarliest outhouse and I could sometimes smell like the, you know the stuff that they put in there to make it not smell like poop? Yeah, the chemical. Yeah, the, the, the but yeah, if stuff. I took a loaf of turd and I was like this, <laughs> I would not be able to smell it. Uh, yeah, it's really weird. But like, if I take an orange for whatever reason, I can. If I can, if I smell really hard, I can yeah. kind of pick up an orange. Maybe it's a citrus in the orange. Who knows? Um, yeah, probably. Uh, let's take another bite. And really, um, just a little bit, a little more Vegemite on this bite. You haven't pulled a face yet. Usually when people bite, have some, that they pull a face instantly. So it's, you know. How's the texture? I, Tell us about the texture. I don't hate it. <laughs> I don't hate it. Because people are like, no, it's disgusting. It's like grease you put on your like, wheel bearings and stuff. I'm like, yeah, it's not bad. But... Well, I think that's, you know, the idea that they have going into it. And that's yeah, what it transfers yeah. to when they actually taste it. To me, it just tastes like really salty. 
and a chemically aftertaste. And now I'm picking up a little bit of the bitter that you're talking about. Yeah, the but it's not like a like you've ever had like a ruby red juice, how it has like a slight bitter aftertaste. It's yeah. less than that. Like it's nowhere okay. near as bitter as yeah. ruby red juice. So if you like, uh, what is that? What juice is that? Ruby red ruby is from. Red. Uh, I don't know. What is that, Haley? What? What's ruby red? What is that? A what? Is that a type of cantaloupe? Cantaloupe. Is that a bitter? Is it? I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. Cantaloupe fruit. Let's find out. Uh, hey Siri. She doesn't know. <laughs> what is Ruby Red? Ruby Red is a 2013 German fantasy film based on the book with the same name by Kirsten Gear. There you go. There you Do go. You want me to keep reading? Now. So, yeah, so Ruby Red is a movie. It's a movie. With a bitter aftertaste. I, I think Ruby Red some sort of, someone will comment what it is. It's not cantaloupe, I don't think. Uh, it's like a, it's got a bitter aftertaste when you. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not overwhelming. I don't know if I would ever go out of my way to taste this. <laughs> Clearly, it's, I had to go to World Market to find it. Oh, yeah, oh really? It was, yeah, it was like. You didn't get it at a regular market? No. Nah, no, nah, I had to go to World Market to find it. Cause I was gonna, I was even gonna get someone to send some up. I was like, I can't find it anywhere. Then I went to World Market and they had it in their little international section. So, I jumped on it. What I need to do is I need to take a bite of the bread without it. Yeah, it yeah, yeah. Only the gnarliest dudes could get like a, a a soft bread roll and just pack the Vegemite on and have it like that. Kids at school would do that. And sometimes I'd be like, Hey, do you want the rest of my lunch? Like, oh yeah. And then um, it'd be just Vegemite packed onto a bread roll. Um, I will say this. I would rather put this on bread than butter. Yeah? Yeah, because I don't like butter. Really? Yeah, not a fan of butter. I'm, okay. I, I don't. I would not say that Haley might disagree with this. I'm, I don't think I'm a picky eater. I just like stuff pretty plain. Yeah. I'm yeah. like weird about condiments, but I'll eat any type of meat. I'll eat any okay. type of vegetable. I'll eat any type of texture. I like seafood. I like raw fish. I like, uh, you know, vegetable platters, whatever have you. Any, yeah. Obviously any dessert. But with uh, when it comes to condiments, I'm like really weird about it. like I hate mayonnaise, I hate mustard. Really? Yeah, hate Dude, mustard. You must, hate you're mustard. You're a mustard hater, oh, like you on. Exactly like it. <laughs> um, I love mustard. Yeah, I can't stand it. But I, mm. I like I like ketchup. I like eel sauce, which is kind of random. And yeah. I like barbecue sauce, and that is as far as condiments go. Okay. Like any sort of sauce, like cane sauce that comes on cane chicken, like won't eat it. Really? Um, this Vegemite though. Not bad, huh? Not bad. Hell, you want to try it? I said no. <laughs> I wish I had. It sucks because I wish I could actually really taste it. Yeah, I mean, you. It's. I don't know. I pick up on the bitterness a little yeah. bit more now that like. Because when you saying before something about you could taste bitter stuff better than sweet stuff. Well, you? it's like, so I can taste, if something is sweet, I can taste something sour, bitter, savory, but I can't taste flavors. So if I drink apple juice and then I drink orange juice, I can tell you that they're sweet drinks, but I couldn't tell oh, you if it was you apple can't. juice or orange juice. Okay. Unless I go on like the base of the thickness. Yeah, yeah, right? the consistency. So if like I bite dark chocolate and milk chocolate, the only difference that I can really tell between the two is dark chocolate's a little less sweet, but I can't tell like the essence of dark chocolate. Yeah, yeah. And with this, it's like Man. I can tell that it's bitter, I can okay. tell that it's salty, but I can't taste really the the flavor of it. Like, yeah. you know like when you taste something, you kind of go like... Yeah, yeah, you, you like, can you taste it. You get it in your like sinuses almost? Yes, yes, I yes. can't do that. Damn. Yeah, it's weird. Damn, dude. So maybe uh, a clickable title for this would be... Uh, American with no smell or taste tries Vegemite. <laughs> Sounds good. Because it's, it's a little bit more interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, not bad. This is also the first time I've ever had toast without anything. Okay. No jelly or anything like that? There um, you go. This is good bread. What kind of bread is this? Oh, it's the... This, dude, just a cheap... Yep, golden wheat. 